When I first started investing, I was a Grand Canyon River guide living in a teepee. In five years, I was a millionaire. If I can do it, let me tell you guys, you can do it. Phil Town is an investor, hedge fund manager, and three-time New York Times bestselling author who is on a mission to inspire future generations of investors. He's helped hardworking people gain financial freedom by teaching them to take control of their future. Over the past 15 years, Phil has hosted thousands of students at his workshop. He teaches how to evaluate investments the way the best investors in the world have done for years. Today, Phil wants to teach you how to do the same. And now, here's Phil Town. Hey guys, I'm Phil Town and I run a company called Rule One Investing. And I wanna thank you really, really a lot for taking the time to come in and watch this webinar. But just for a minute, let's start like this. I want you to use your imagination and imagine that there's a large meeting room in a big hotel, okay? You got a bunch of people sitting there, maybe a hundred people are in that room. And these are hardworking, they're honest people, they're just like you. And now I want you to imagine, just picture this for a second, that 21 of these people are wearing a white shirt. Okay, so see the white shirt scattered out there? And now imagine that the other 79 people are wearing a red shirt. All right, you got this picture? You got some white dots and a lot of red. So I've got some news for you guys. The 79 people in the red shirts are going to get to age 65 and they're not gonna have enough money to retire the way they want to retire. Even though they might have 401k plans, even though they might have some other savings, even though they've got some equity in real estate, that's right, only 21% of Americans are going to reach official retirement age with enough money to retire for the whole term of their life. And that's according to an article in USA Today. My personal experience backs that up. I've been working with tens of thousands of people who are trying to retire comfortably. They want to retire comfortably. But those people in the red shirts, those are people without enough money to retire comfortably. What are they gonna do? I mean, we want to retire, but what is the plan, right? So here's the deal. They're gonna have to keep working or they're gonna have to lead a totally different lifestyle. And let me be blunt about this. They're going to be poor and they're probably gonna be working at some job they don't like until the end of their lifetime. And here's the thing. Those 21 people in the white shirts are going to enjoy a comfortable retirement. They can live where they want to live. They can do a little traveling. They can visit their friends. They can visit their kids and they can enjoy that dream retirement. And we're talking about huge amounts of money here, just a good retirement. And what they're gonna gain is the peace of mind that comes with knowing that they're financially secure for as long as they live. This is a very big thing because we've never met in person, I know, but there's something I already know about you. You're here at this webinar because you wanna be one of those people in the white shirts, the 21% who can retire comfortably. And here's why I'm doing this webinar. I am so excited that you're here. In this webinar, you're going to discover so much about how to reach your retirement goals. You're gonna love this webinar. Now maybe you've already saved hundreds of thousands of dollars. Maybe you haven't saved a dime. Maybe you're getting close to retirement age. Maybe you're young, you know, maybe relatively young, or maybe you're actually really young and you wanna start investing. Maybe you're an experienced investor and you wanna see how we do things here at rule number one investing. Here's the thing, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter how much you've saved. By the end of this webinar, you are gonna have a clear picture, probably for the first time in your life, of the steps you can take so that you're part of the 21% of Americans who retire comfortably. And we're not talking about having to have a specific amount of money to begin or to have a certain kind of job to save. This is something everybody can do. The steps are easy to take and tens of thousands of people have taken these same steps. These people, many of them, are currently retired comfortably or they're on that road to a very, very great retirement, a comfortable retirement, the retirement that you want. So again, I'm really, really excited you're here. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and I think you're gonna really like this webinar. So let's get started, let's dig in. First, I wanna let you know about our basic approach to our business. We teach investing based on a proven system I'm going to let you know about 
in just a minute. We also manage other people's money. Now, the way we approach our business is to start by proving two things. First, that we can teach you how to invest wisely. And second, that you can learn all this with no financial mumble jumbo or anything complex, Wall Street jargon or anything complicated. By the end of this webinar, you're going to know how to reduce your risk in the stock market, how to protect yourself from the downward moves that regularly come along in the stock market, how to generate returns of 15% or more by doing something really simple, while even the top fund managers just get 5%, and how you can be just as successful as rock star investors like Warren Buffett by doing what they do. And I'm gonna tell you how they do this, why I don't like mutual funds and why you shouldn't either, and how to buy shares in a wonderful business when these shares are on sale and way below what they'd normally cost, meaning you should be able to buy $10 bills for $5 or less. Now, I know you're wondering how you can learn all this kind of stuff, and I can't wait to get into that. We're talking about a lot of fun stuff here, but first I wanna take a minute to just get basic information out of the way, okay? My lawyers make me say this to be compliant with legal regulations, so here we go. Our attorneys require that I let everyone know that we are number one, not your financial advisor. Everything you're gonna see, all the slides, all the examples, the rates of return we talk about, any stock ideas you hear, these are all for educational purposes only because we are just your educators. We're not your advisors. These are our opinion only, not to be construed as investment advice in any way. By the way, it's important to know that we are actually investment advisors, licensed Series 65 advisors, but we're not your advisors, if you haven't already figured that out. <laughs> so we always recommend that you go get professional help before you act on anything that you hear from us, for any advisors, anybody out there, but particularly today, okay? What's really exciting here is that small individual investors like you have a huge advantage over professional fund managers, including the manager of your mutual funds, if you're currently investing in mutual funds. I'm gonna spend some time getting into why, but this is going to blow your mind. I'm also going to describe how the top investors in the world, and these are people like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, these guys invest in a way that you need to learn. I'm gonna teach you how, and I'm gonna show you how they get the returns that they get. Investing is something I feel really passionate about. I wrote two New York Times number one bestsellers. One's called Rule Number One, and the other's called Payback Time. These are about my experiences of investing as an individual investor over the last 30 years and becoming a multimillionaire. I'm also a hedge fund manager. So before diving into investing, I came from a kind of blue collar background, like maybe many of you do. I went through the military. I was in Vietnam. When I got back from Vietnam, I got dirty some more. I became a river guide on the Colorado River out in the Grand Canyon for about 10 years. And in 1980, I came across a group of outward bound trustees. These are the rich guys who are supporting outward bound. And I was supposed to take them out on a rafting trip for two weeks down the Grand Canyon. And about halfway down, the guys in my boat, I darn near killed him. <laughs> All these trustees of Outward Bound, darn near killed him in a rapid that day down on a rapid called Crystal. It was so huge and my boat was acting up. It was different than normal. I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to the boat or maybe I was just looking for, I don't know, maybe cutting it a little too close to the edge. I'm telling you, it was really scary and it really woke me up. Now we got through it, obviously. And at the end, when we got back over to the beach, one of the trustees got out of the boat and he just said, thank you for saving my life. He had no idea I'd almost wiped him out. And he said, look, man, I owe you and I want to pay you back. So I said, okay, what? And he said, maybe you're happy being a river guide, but if you want to learn about the stock market, I'll teach you to be a smart investor. Look, the last thing in the world I was thinking about was being an investor. I mean, I'm making $4,000 a year. What am I going to invest with? But I am up for a challenge and an adventure. And at the end of that season, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take this guy up on this offer. And I ended up spending a year learning under this man as a kind of investing apprentice. When I went out on my own, I started with just $1,000, which would be kind of like starting with $2,000 a day. And I turned that 1,000 bucks into $1.45 million 
which would kind of be like $3 million today. And here's the thing, I did that in just five years. If I can do it, you can do it too, and I can teach you how. Maybe that's worth three days. And here's the really cool thing. Getting wealthy, getting rich, and doing it without tremendous risk is really not that difficult when you know how. You don't have to take risk. You don't have to give up a lot of capital. It can be done safely just by knowing which numbers to look at and how to start diving in. Now, you just have to follow a well-beaten path. That's really the, the key here that I, I, I can't overemphasize. You just have to follow a well-beaten path. Now, I discovered this path from my teacher who discovered it from investors like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, who discovered it in this long tradition that I call Rule One Investing that goes back 85 years. I'm gonna show you this path and how to follow it. Here's the key how to follow it safely. I'm gonna show you how to get very, very rich. If you follow what I teach you based on what I do with my money, what guys like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger do with their money. So here's a question I hear all the time. Phil, I'm worried about a market crash. How do I protect my capital? All right, I like this question. I answer this excellent and extremely important question by pointing investors toward two brilliant tools. The first one, it really is powerful. It helps me understand the state of the market. This tool, easy to get, it's called the Schiller PE. This was developed by Robert Schiller at Yale. He first published it in 1999, and he got the Nobel Prize for it in 2013. It shows that the markets have an average Schiller PE, that's the average P.E. of the markets, which means the price divided by the earnings, of 15 over the last 140 years. A long time to be an average, right? Now, when it gets above that into about the mid-20s, it starts to become a very pricey stock market, and then, repeatedly, it crashes. Another tool I use is one that Warren Buffett uses to determine if the market's overpriced. The tool is called the Wilshire GDP Ratio. This tool compares the value of all the stocks in the broad market, called the Wilshire, against the total gross domestic product, which is basically all of the sales coming in from all of our companies in the US. And when the value of all the stocks and the value of GDP get out of line, then the market is overvalued. So what happens when these tools tell me that the markets are getting a little crazy? What do you do? Well, then I make moves based on the principles of rule number one investing. And the rule number one investing principles are not what you're going to hear from the so-called experts in the mutual fund industry and the financial services industry. They will tell you to do this. You should never, ever be out of the market. They also tell you that as an individual investor, you can't possibly handle investing by yourself and you must be in our mutual funds. Mutual funds, as Jack Bogle at Vanguard has figured out, are just a shadow of the market. Mutual funds charge you whopping fees and then are trading all the time, so they cost you as well, to try to beat the market, but guess what the results show us? They don't beat the market. Here's Fidelity Mutual Fund against the S&P 500. Here's the Janus Mutual Fund against the S&P 500. Here's a bunch more against the S&P 500, and they're not beating the market, you guys. Look, here's a so-called growth fund that's just been dropping like a brick. And here's the kind of cool thing. Warren Buffett said that mutual fund managers aren't going to give you anything different than the stock market. This guy used to run Harvard Business School's endowment fund. His name is Jack Meyer, and he thinks mutual fund investing is a gigantic scam. And you've probably been told that mutual funds are a so-called safe haven. It's not, and you know this whether you're currently investing in mutual funds or not. So where is that safe haven? The safe haven that I have my money in, the safe haven I'm gonna teach you about is in rule number one investing. That's what we call it. Ben Graham started doing rule number one investing using this simple rule back in the 1930s at the beginning of the depression. 
and he compounded his money during the Depression and through World War II at over 22% per year. And he was working with what would now be billions of dollars. That means he was doubling his money almost every three years, right through the Depression, while all the rest of the country was in an enormous financial disaster and distress. Ben Graham taught the principles of rule number one investing at Columbia University. And one of his best students was a guy you might've heard of named Warren Buffett. And Buffett still teaches these principles and like me, uses these principles to this day. Rule one investors include people like Bill Ackman, Monash Prabhai, Edward Lampert, David Einhorn, Julian Robertson, Lou Simpson. These are famous investors. They're all billionaires and they're averaging 27% per year across the group over a long period of time. And these, by the way, are audited portfolios over 20 and 30 years period of time. And here's what I tell investors at events like our three-day workshop in Atlanta. You can invest exactly like these big guys do. If they can do it, you can do it. What's amazing is you can do it without investing in mutual funds and you can do it better than your professional fund managers. One huge advantage you have over mutual funds is that you are nimble. You're a little guy. Mutual funds are like huge battleships. They are not nimble. So let me give you an example of people just like you who have enjoyed some really big time success with Rule One Investing. Here's Jack Whalen, who is a 34% compounded rate of return. That means this guy's doubling his money almost every two years. What did he do? Pretty good. He took $10,000 and turned it into almost $350,000. Sue Wolf's one of my students. She took $100,000, turned it into about $400,000, a 32% compounded return. Adam Thompson was written up about this. He took $50,000 and it became $2.7 million. This guy did great, 33% compounded over a 10-year period. Watt Ramsey, another one of my students, took a quarter million dollars and turned it in almost a million bucks, 38% compounded return while retired. Mike Koza, another guy that got written up, turned about $100,000 into $3 million. Pam Ewell, another student of mine, unbelievably great return. She started with $150,000, turned it into $700,000 in five years, a 47% compounded rate of return. And she did that through the 2008 drop in the market. Justin Yohara, I love this guy. He's a truck driver. I mean, take a look at this guy's results of investing while driving his truck cross country. 87,000 in 10 years went up to 1.5 million bucks. Now you'd be pretty pumped up if you were doing that while working a full-time job. That's a 33% compound rate of return. Look at what will happen to Justin's portfolio if he can continue this for another 10 years, right? This guy could have $26 million. And think what you could do with $26 million in retirement. So clearly he's gonna live a lot better than a lot of the people who keep listening to the standard advice you hear from the mutual fund industry, from the financial advisory industry, and from all these gurus who are teaching you how to handle your money. The people I just mentioned are not hedge fund managers. They do not have Harvard MBAs. They do not have advanced degrees in finance. These are hardworking people, truck drivers and teachers, people just like you who followed the principles of rule one investing as taught by Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, and me. They looked at investing differently. They looked at it just like you have to look at things differently if you want to achieve your retirement goals. All right, let's get into one of the core principles of rule one investing. I love this one. We're going to look at how to find great businesses. Why? Because what these great investors have told us is that you need to find a way to buy wonderful businesses and buy them when they're on sale. When you do that, you are certain to make money. Key word there, right? Certain. It's basically like buying $10 bills for $5. We wanna get these great businesses on our radar. So how can you do that? All right, try this on for size. Imagine if you could call up the world's richest man, Warren Buffett, who made his money doing rule one investing and ask him, Warren, what did you just buy? What did you just pay? How many shares did you buy? Now, if you did that, first off, he might not pick up the telephone. And if he did pick up the telephone accidentally, 
He might not tell you, but here's the thing. You can find it out. There is a very cool way. And by finding it out, you can put companies on your radar that Warren Buffett has been buying in the last 90 days. You can actually invest just like Warren Buffett. Now, here's the coolest thing in the world is that Warren Buffett himself tells you to do it. This is how he started. He calls it coattailing. He basically copied or coattailed Ben Graham, his master teacher. Now, this is the number one way to find a great company that's priced below the market value. How cool is that? You just find out what Warren Buffett's doing and copy it. And here's how great it is. Are you ready for this one? A team at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV, decided they would study this principle. So they published the study that they did, and I read it. And they saw that coattailing Warren Buffett from 1976 until 2006 resulted in compounding your money at 24% a year. And that means through bear markets, bull markets, up, down, sideways, didn't matter. 24% a year. I hope you understand what that means. If you were putting $5,000 a year into the market while copying Warren Buffett for those 30 years, you would have turned it into about $12 million. Ben Graham taught Warren Buffett the principle of coattailing. Warren Buffett taught that principle to the people who taught me, and now I'm teaching you. I'm telling you, my favorite investors in the world, the people that I just listed back there as the greatest rule one investors are all coattailers. Now, you might be asking, how can I know what Warren Buffett or what any of these guys are doing with their money when they invest? Great question, right? Pretty much where the rubber meets the road. Now, here's the amazing thing. It's not private information at all. Investors like Buffett, if they're big enough, have to file what's called a 13F, like Foxtrot, 13F SEC filing when they buy or sell stocks. Now, SEC means Securities Exchange Commission, and that's a government agency. And they file those things every quarter. The information in that filing is golden. And I know how to find that information. In fact, I've even gotten my genius website developers to put that information in my toolbox tool set that you can find in the site. And when you come to our workshop, I'm gonna teach you how to use that tool right there, and you will begin using it immediately. We'll go through exactly what the top investors are buying. These are investors like Warren Buffett, Bill Ackman, Charlie Munger, Bruce Berkowitz, and about 44 other investors that I have vetted as being the best investors in the world for what I do. And I'm also gonna show you four other amazing ways to get great companies on your radar that I use every day. And one thing that's important to note is that these investors that I've just talked about have about 70% of their, port you ready for this? 70% of their portfolio in less than 10 stocks. Is that what you do? 10 stocks? Does that look like your mutual fund? Not exactly. Many mutual funds, including probably the ones that you have, have, I don't know, 100, 150, 200 stocks. Why? Because mutual fund investors like to be diversified. They think that's how you invest. But Warren Buffett, who's the richest investor in the world, says that diversification like that is for the ignorant. Buffett believes, as I do, in finding just a few great businesses, and that's it, then you're done. Well, if you put your money in a mutual fund, those guys are gonna go out there and scatter it around 200 stocks, which makes no sense to me, when most of the rock star investors have just a fraction of that number in their portfolios. So let's get back to getting those businesses on your radar. The type of business that I'm looking for and what Warren Buffett and those other rock star investors are looking for has certain criteria. So what are these companies like? What are you looking for to put on your checklist? First, you have to understand the business. And part of that is to understand what we call the intrinsic characteristics that protect the business. Intrinsic means it's baked into the company in some way. Like, I don't know, railroad tracks are baked into a railroad train company. So we call this thing the moat. And what we're looking for is what's the moat of this company? 
Also, how can you spot a management team that has talent and integrity? Because my gosh, a little bit about getting a successful racehorse, getting around the track quickly is to have a great job, okay? So we really wanna know who's running this company and are they on our side? Or are they gonna to try to screw us over? And how would you know if the business has the three most important words of investing, according to Ben Graham, which are margin of safety. In other words, is the price substantially below the value? I'm gonna answer all these questions on the first day of the investing workshop, and I would go through them right now, but then this video would be six hours long. On the second day of the workshop, you are going to be showing me how you analyze the company. It's awesome to see how fast just an ordinary person can learn to do what Warren Buffett does. So you guys are gonna have free access to this toolbox that I built to make the analysis of top companies super simple for me. The toolbox gives you a moat score. It even ranks the management team. And I'm gonna show you when to buy these companies so you are buying $10 bills for $5. Look, it's not difficult to rate and rank companies. You just need to know how the best investors do it. And during the workshop, I'm gonna take you through an exercise that helps you connect what your passions are, what your talents are, what your beliefs are, what you value to great businesses and help you find businesses that match those values. When you're putting money into a company, what you're doing is you're supporting what that company does in the world. Now think about that. This is something that you're going to see in the world, you know, like 20 years from now for your kids because you and millions of other people are putting your money in there. But when you put your money into mutual funds, that fund manager is going to invest in hundreds of companies, some of which are gonna be companies that simply don't match your beliefs and values or are being run by people that you think are really bad people. They're not treating the employees well. They're not handling the environment well. And yet you own a piece of that business. I have some friends who are extremely passionate about certain causes. They only want to invest in companies that are on the correct side of what they believe in those causes. And I'm not gonna judge, right, based on your values. I'm, you have your values, that's none of my business. It's a private matter for you, I get that. But I'm gonna show you how to match your beliefs and values, whatever they are, to great companies that are implementing those beliefs and values in the world. What we don't wanna do is simply go out there and buy 